going to show you a couple of drill jigs that I built for pinning LS can bearings. Pretty simple little deal. Kind of odd looking, but I'll show you how it works. I usually end up drilling the block before I do a final clean. If you look, you can see the holes from the top. You can see that can bearing there. It looks like it has tried to spin. I mic'd it. It's okay. Uh, looking at that one, you can see it looks pretty good. All right, let's knock some bearings in here. Make sure I have numbers stamped on them so you know where they go. For those who don't know. A little oil on them. You have to make sure you clock them the right direction. For the LS motor. The oil slot for the cam bearing is over here on this side. Check the number. Look at the box, make sure you get the right one. Check a mirror, double check, make sure four holes are lined up. And that's knocking the cam bearings in. Okay, now we need to tap them. A little spray lube or cutting wall. You have to go nice and easy small taps keep from breaking them just work your way down slow clean the threads back off as you go don't get in a hurry and uh, shouldn't have any issues You could tap the holes actually probably before you knock the cam bearings in, but I've just always done it this way. Use a 1032 tap, 1032 Allen screw to keep the bearing in place. Also have a little tool that I use on the front and rear cam bearing to pin them so they don't move either. I've probably done 50 of these blocks this way. Had good success with it. Hadn't had any issues. And that's the first one. foam lube. I like it because it doesn't run off like some of the other stuff I've tried. Like I said, you just can't get in a hurry doing these. You end up breaking the tap off and then you really have a issue going on getting a broken tap out. It 
definitely helps keep issues with the camber and it keeps from spinning them. And I've had very few of the LS blocks that have come in with spun cam bearings that the housing bore is out of spec and won't accept a new cam bearing. The GM cam bearings are a split cam bearing. They don't hold their shape real well. And when they spin, they tend to collapse down on the camshaft. And that is the three center cam bearing. I will show you how to do the end cam bearings. After I get them tapped, they have what they call a bullet bit. Got just a center point on it and a flat on it. Works real well to make a nice little flat so the bolts and the washers or Allen's set down nice and flat. Just go in and hit it just a little bit. It's kind of like so. Use a little cleaner to get all the cutting oil chips and stuff out of the thread. And just a uh, Allen. Sometimes it takes one washer. Sometimes it takes two washers. You just have to check it and see. Different year blocks vary a little bit. on that one. I could grind the bolts off but I've just found it easier just to add a washer it doesn't hurt anything. And that is kind of what it looks like. After you check your fit, make sure you're not protruding. I'll pull them back out. Add just a little bit of blue Loctite to them. snug once you usually figure out it's pretty consistent as far as how many washers you need for these three center ones I'm going to double check it when I flop the block over to do the end ones. Really haven't seen anybody else do this and I really don't understand why but it's a pretty simple. I used to do them in the mill measure from here and go back and do it but that tied up the mill a lot of time and the price I was having to charge for all the setup it wasn't feasible for the customer so I built that uh, drill tool oh, well you can see you can just barely see the Allen there do a little better job here get something you can just barely see it protruding into the cam bearing and that's all you need here's the tool I use to drill the end ones similar to a 
can bring a driver except I've added a hole it's going to barely intersect the outside diameter of the can bearing. I've used just electrical tape to make the fit. It varies sometimes. Just want it to be nice and snug. Push it in. Get it kind of lined up. It really doesn't matter where you drill it. I usually try to stay away from anywhere in the top up here where the oil crossover is. Slide that out, and hopefully you all can see it just intersects the edge of the cam bearing just a little bit. You can tap that hole. So did need to be real deep. Just used a short 1032 set screw and hopefully you can see it taps part of that cam bearing and then you screw a set screw in it. Screw that allen in just like so and just it doesn't have to be real tight just snug it up and wipe off the excess. Usually take a little piece of emery and just knock off any burrs that's on it. Do the rear one the same way. I usually try to do it somewhere up here in the top. There's uh, really nothing in the way up here that's going to cause an issue. Flip it in like so. Start with your taper tap. Bottom tap it. Set screw and a little lock tight. Yeah, didn't quite get that one drilled deep enough. If you don't, you can always just go back and do it without lining the fixture back up. It works fine that way. There we go. Just snug. Wipe off the excess and Hit it with this little emery. Deburr the ones down inside where they've left little burrs on the bearings. All right, let's test fit a camshaft here. Make sure it turns. Try to do that on all the motors. I'm not assembling as soon as I get the cam bearings in and pinned or whatever they are, make sure that the cam turns nice and free. The customer doesn't have any issues. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth. And that is how you pin a set of LS cam bearings. If you got questions, comments, post them, and I will try to answer questions and explain more about it if need be. Thank you very much.